Hi, my name's B, and this is a three-minute review of The Long Game by Elena Armas. The Long Game was released on September 5th, 2023. It's book one of The Long Game series. You might like this book if you like sports romances, especially soccer. A good fish out of water story, because this gal is from the city and she goes to the country. Sweet caretaking scenes where he is taking good care of her. A super slow burn romance. Some really spicy love scenes. And a hero who is a cinnamon roll at heart. Adeline is working for her father's professional soccer team until an unfortunate outburst goes viral and she finds herself exiled to a small town in North Carolina. She winds up neighbors with a fellow curmudgeon, a former soccer star with a gorgeous British accent, narrated by the great Shane East. Cameron, like Adeline, is wrestling with demons and looking for redemption. The two of them are forced to work together to improve a local soccer team. Animosity becomes friendship, which becomes much more in this extremely slow burn romance. I usually enjoy our hero Cameron. At the beginning he's quite grumpy, like our heroine actually. Once you get to know him however, those delicious layers of cinnamon roll are exposed. He's super sweet inside. Gooey yumminess. The way he takes care of our heroine is absolutely swoon-worthy. Once the second half of the book gets started and the tension finally starts to build, the book becomes much more fun. And if you enjoy a man who takes charge during those spicy scenes, you're going to love those scenes in this book. I appreciated the mystery that the author gives us. She doesn't tell us up front exactly what the wounds are that Cameron and Adeline are trying to heal from. It makes for a more interesting second half. Additionally, I would have preferred a little more romance or tension in the first half as well. The second half of the book is the real star. Personally, my favorite types of love scenes are ones that are more emotional. The love scenes in this book did have some emotion, but it definitely took a backseat to the spice. I also had some issues with the third act, primarily with regards to a few situations that felt a tad bit contrived, both to create additional drama and set up the next book in the series. Given all these things, I decided to give this book three and a half stars, the second half being stronger than the first. Bottom line, if you like a super slow burn sports romance with a man who is gonna take care of his woman in every sense of the word, the long game is one you'll want to play. That's it for me. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying whatever it is that you're reading, whether it's a soccer romance or not. Until next time, thanks so much. Take care. Bye.